Hello, and welcome to today's MLP Classic Vlog. And, uh, I know I can't call time, but hopefully it should be a short one because I earned it a lot too, okay? Hopefully. Anyway, go for the Clack of Vlog. We have Simple Way, written by Josh Haber, a good debut, I believe. Go in the cup and code, very great travel item guy named Chandra Hoof coming for the Pony Day Festival thing. And Rarity has been with him and went to him and him. But he unfortunately starts to fall in love with Applejack in her country way. Larry and Pooh. So, what were two important things before we even like, get into the echo though? But we'll get into the more important one first. Um, Josh Hamer's debut, and he definitely sort of a mixed writer. And King of Four, he's quite a cute. No, not to be like Capomania. But like, I guess we can give a Capco like a more film than that one. Um, in King of Four, he accused of being one more boring writer Kogan. This one in that Don't Leave a Faith. He did think very bad book, very cliche, bound number again, you know, quite dull, you know, in another way again. To an extent, I can see where they are coming from, but each of the episodes does something to make it not quite as boring as some other episodes. Castlevania did come typically, but again, in a different way. I mean, the whole castle thing, it's not exactly huge kids' cliche, I can't ever show them it. So, they may take out, luck was probably my favorite of the episode from the back again. Um, your face might be very cliche, but it has an interesting dilemma, I think, that they pull off. It's only better than a commercial show that I've done it, I think. No. You know, that one, the dilemma there, pulled it through. And wait, I was like, oh, written. And I was like, I drew it well here as well. So, like, so I was like, I'm okay. So, while he will get the most exciting writer ever, I believe that he at least can keep me engaged or have good comfort or good comedy, like Gas Mina. And the cup of code, but we'll go and read it to later. He came, but we're thinking of five cookies to the game, but he came like, he's now a story editor, so now he has more control, and some people blame him for certain sort of thing. Look, look at what else he's done. I've liked most of what he's done, to be fair. But, got to recap, we start taking more change and doing more change. Alright, boom, boom, very interesting and quite solid. And he also had the kitty remark, which, to be fair, I don't think the big problem with that one would give fault. As much in come but I think there's a lot to like in that one. The kid could go fight it, everyone. Right. And for it you know, so far, he has the premiere, which, again, I thought was fine. Um, the other cards were on that one. Okay. Yeah, you know, I can't. Um, and I can't explain my credit. He had On Your Mark with Dave Pokey. That was a very strong one. Well, I probably the best, I think. I think the one only one I played in the great vein, too. And a trainer fan fiction. Again, fun up go, that's a good direction. And that can, um, I took up, I tend to have a strong track record, trying 22 minutes to go. They tend to be entertaining, if nothing else. No, kind of can't go in that way, it's just you know, all a good problem. But anyway, but yeah. The other thing that they can on the exact same day. I have a little pet shop with code Wheat Pepper, which has a very similar premise of a character voiced by Tackle and Jermaine flying low phone and wanting to impress them. And everyone you can can grab the code and done it way better. Garko up again, well talk a little pet up thing and you know, whatever the claim that that could have done a lot better and they keep that bash of this one quite a bit. And the fact that you're only a in day and dark on books by a Yakin Perkin is creepy. But this show got done for a bot line year by accident or because or you old or just you know bad guy. But airing on the game day, that creepy. Very, very creepy. That never ever happened and that creepy. As for how I do it, only that's the point I might have more comedy to than that one. But that one done differently because I got a third party. It did um pepper in a guy who never appeared again. You know. And it got a about the dirty one that goes done in a different way. Go it's come a little bit different, I think. And yeah, a jet to the out one is quite much better because again the more out it makes a lot more skin the character is stupid, it reaches more in a more natural fashion, and it's just a better constructive point. Now I'm the bet that I'm gonna show me at that, but I think it could that is a good one too. Man, I get to Adam Clack we all again. But fun will probably be in the game if I ever got that doing that one. If I ever did that one I wouldn't have done that, you know. But anyway, but back to the Gap Code. I enjoy it. Yes, writing wise is not great, but it's a fun episode. And here's the thing it's cliche, 
but at the same time, it really should to a good moral on how you shouldn't try to order a practical and you should be yourself. And that's a good moral to teach, I think. And I do like the way Jennifer was a villain or an actor or anything like that. No, he seemed like he genuinely well liked out of that sort of way and just kind of went about stuff the wrong way. And I like when they didn't make him a villain or anything like that. They could have done that or made him a point of or something like that. But no, they didn't. I feel like that, um, right like that, the far food will, you know, immoral. You know, and again, it's cliche, but I feel like I do think that like a hugely boring predictable, you know, and, um, and of course, we have problems, some people might have that, yeah, very kind of awkward, because she has fun in a few cases, but her being this far off is like going, yeah, but it works for the sake of a story it's telling, so it's not too big of a deal, and it's called it a movie, so it might be off, but not horrific, but, well, again, yeah, she does, in the comics, she does, like, all the time, like, sometimes, you know, I don't know, I'm picking a witch, and probably they come from the cup code. Honestly, feel like any other festival thing or didn't stick out at all. I don't know why that part didn't stick out, but um, yeah, they um, again, I uh, get I uh, that come fat and fair impression day one that particular one. We are finally doing the body count, specifically one that had really fun of going, but mostly known for being Captain Planet. <laughs> uh, well, for Cat Planet, the rat thing. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but yeah, I look forward to that one when he dug it. <laughs> um, by the way, I got a small moment in, in this where we're trying to talk about thing and he got underappreciated and pointed to Derpy. Um, that's pretty opposite of underappreciated. I underappreciated. I had to, that, you know, I, the, the two things make up I do can kind of work with, like the comedy. It is pretty funny. I mean, look like I like when. Um, very talking to Pike, and where he goes, you don't know how it feels to follow someone, but I'm like, going out get Pike, just like, like, <laughs> fashion in the bent. Um, yeah, the cop code, in general, fun. I like King Rarity. Rarity flying over trying to fall, he, I'm attacking around, trying to none of it. That's funny to me. And of course, it's a general antic of the character, and it's funny. The funny part, though, in Rarity, cop attack, and basically Rarity. First of all, we do really well in imitating each other, and what I love is that we really stick to in character. But you can tell that they're hecked it on things that we try to keep the character. That's just so funny to me, and they didn't end up before the thing to go, go over the top. I like being covered in mud! I can't do an impression, but that is hilarious. And it's just funny to keep the two didn't go away. And in the way we actually dedicate to one thing, it's very funny. It really shows the range, too. Like, again, both of them can do the typical, I mean, Smoke can do, like, the whole Karnak thing, but kind of very authentic and not gimmicky. And we can, like, change. I mean, here, Pepper and Mary were different beasts entirely, and she does really well in both. And Pepper got cool her natural voice. <laughs> um, but, in, yeah. So we can't go frying off the entertainment value in something happen. And I can't go find that funny, you won't like it. Can be more about my other thing. Like a very funny old guy, not that funny, it's a desperate or weird. Oh and being each other that's awkward that funny. And if you find it more awkward than funny, you'll probably find a gap code to be able to because that bank could be all what amount to. But I find it funny, good gap code is very interesting to watch. And go to even look at my little moral go. Yeah, call from Biff Gilby Butcher, if you will. Plot and character why it gets not regretted, but character why it gets a fun episode with the next moral. And I really like how Diamond goes. She did take no one's shit here. And, you know, she, the positive kind of, if I can do well, I'll drag when you want to do it. Um, now go. I'll drag from very strong here. Take no shit. It's glorious. You know, told you I could, hey, I actually did make it quick because I feel like we're probably even going to go no more. In the cake of they percolate by twenty points out from the character got it quite right and stuff like that. And that's fair. I don't think it's a worth thing ever because yeah, it's like applying it will work for getting art rework. But amount to if you find a lot of it entertaining something, we can forgive from the outer element. And I'll get able to well, I feel like with like plot line and that you can do good moral and character line. I can kind of run it a little bit. I mean, fine. I can try to a teeny bit. I would drink general block. General for fun. Drink awesome. And fight good too. You know, 
Yeah, you might have to go that one. I think that's not quite funny, but I feel like that one was more joke. Now compare it every way. It, but they all become a twitch sort of thing to make it more entertaining. But so in order to be the cup down right, you would have to have a little triangle. I think I can have that because I can have that. It just that the cuddle and pepper and you know doing the stuff. And it's and we'll cover it and blah blah. But without the third party, it's just kind of a couple killers that are going to good. And I feel like no one compare it if it didn't have to get it. And I got Roman part. I feel like it won't be a compared as much. You know, but oh well. So, the Cup of Code is not what I was trying to go. Not the best written, but I felt like a good example on how to say the Cup can go. That it can be typical, but it can be like entertaining or have an element that keeps you yeah, into it, you know? But I'll probably get to talk about that one more if I really good boy. So, yeah, it could fun up because nothing crazy special, but it can be cool. I like watching, you know? So, it's fun. And that's why I have to go away because I don't want to you know, like them too forever because, you know, it's not. It's pretty. Well, simple. And what I like about the one is that air right after Piggy Pride, and that's one of the craziest episodes. Having a code like this, it just, I know you want to calm down a bit, but, you know, this is not the right episode to put after. I feel like you should have put it a little later. I don't know. But, oh well. It's entertaining, and it's very much you do find it entertaining and quite problem. If no, then oh well. If yes, great. Then that's me. I just want to get done. It's gonna be it's almost like a pretty go. I just wanna get this done. Go. Better cup away. Get up, go back. Maybe crochet. Maybe camera go off. But I like good moral and some communication at work. And they're very, very entertaining. Go back. Get the cup away. And we pepper to an extent. Nah, uh, I wish I was doing more things. Could be off. But cash will go over. No, I just point in them. And I got other things to do anyway. Go. There you go. Go a lot. Generate it. Kickty! Epic code Kickty. That would mean Apple Family Reunion. Finally, I can get a free Epic code. And another Epic code where we can talk about, you know, cliche and predictability, but can get entertainment. Yay! I'll think about the Gump Vlog watching this one because I was remembering my Twitter and how he talked about Joe Shaver and how he could buy a number account and he could get back upon the pump and free by the Gump Code. Go, I, I don't know why I was thinking of that. Go. We get to go into detail on that one. That's how we're gonna start a kinky free one. <laughs> but don't worry. Uh, so. so, there you go. Uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Oh, kinky free, we're doing the early or on that one for the number, by the way. I don't want to get too complicated. Got the only kinky where both things are mixed up in the other kinky, but not about to be kinky free because of the in between episode we did. Um, before I shut the coffee, I got to try the coffee. Wait. Oh, yeah, this guy is eating a buckball skin, I believe. So, I'm looking forward to that, the code. Um. Mm -hmm. Wait. Just making sure. Something. If we're going to read again, I want to do this on screen. I'm looking for the NFT, because I'm really to see if I mention Pentagon of America, why I can announce when I do VR for that. But it's not fair, but I can't announce it. Well, don't nothing. God, come out with them already. Yeesh. But yeah, there you go. Then, skip away, and this week, Buck Balking, and next week, it is Apple Family Reunion. More Apple Jack. Um, exactly. Hey, that girl will want to have, have like, a go, plot, go, Applejack, yay, <laughs> I like that, um, but yeah, oh, I'll go VR on Tuesday now, can, duh, I can do today, but yeah, okay, Kawaii, so see you, for Bubble King, and Apple Family Reunion, bye, 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 b